In this program, you want to try and determine Robin's landing location. He will swing from a rope or a vine, hit his lowest point, and then become a projectile and land in the water. So you want to do a two-part problem. The first part, you have to figure out how fast he will be going when he is done moving like a pendulum. And for this part, you want to take the length of the rope, the angle the rope makes with the vertical, and use them to find the y and x components of this triangle. The y component tells you how far Robin is below the tree branch at the start. When he reaches his lowest point, he will be exactly 8.84 meters below the tree branch, because that is the length of the rope, and the rope is hanging straight down. If we take the length of the rope, that 8.84, minus off the y value from our triangle, we'll get Robin's change in height while he was swinging like a pendulum. Using that height, we could find the potential energy that Robin had at the beginning. We set that potential energy, gravity, equal to his kinetic energy at the bottom, and find the speed that Robin had at his lowest point. Realize that that speed is totally horizontal at the lowest point. So when you do your projectile part, make sure you use the horizontal velocity as the velocity you got from your kinetic energy. The vertical velocity at the beginning will be zero. Make sure you realize that this problem does not take place on Earth, so use the proper acceleration due to gravity. And the distance from where he releases the rope or vine to the water is given to you in the third sentence from the bottom. When you enter your answer, Make sure you add both horizontal distances together. The horizontal distance we got from the original triangle and the horizontal distance we get as a projectile.